Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to design a digital clock using 4026IC. Let's start from a new project. Type the new project name here. Create a schematic, default template and next, next, next and finish it. Pick the required components from this P button. A triple five timer. Four zero two six IC. IC seven four one one. It's basically a three input AND gate. Just double click the item and it will be automatically added to the list here. Add a power source. Resistor. Capacitor. Okay, now we will start from triple five timer. Place the triple five IC here. Let me zoom in. Uh, looks good. Pick the power source and place it here. Follow me and complete the triple five timer circuit. To test this circuit, just connect a LED to output. And don't forget to change the resistor and capacitor values. Now try to run this. And it works. Now remove the LED from here and we will proceed to complete our clock circuit. Place 4026IC. Copy the block and paste it 5 more times. Do the same for 7 segment common cathode display. place three analog gates. Before connecting the wires, we will take a look at data sheet of 4026IC. IC4026 is basically the decade counter IC, it will count from 0 to 9. The first pin is the clock pin, which should be connected to the output of triple five timer. Second pin is used to disable the clock and we don't want to disable it, so keep this pin to ground for each of the counter IC. Third one is to enable the display so this pin must be high. If you connect this pin to ground, the IC will still count but it will not display on the 7 segments. And the fifth pin is the important pin in this project. Each time when the counter IC completes its cycle from 0 to 9, then this pin will go low for one clock cycle and then again high. This pin will be used to increment the hours and the minutes. Pin 6 to pin 13 are the output pins and you will not find the pin 8 and pin 16 in this simulation. But if you are planning to design this on hardware then connect the pin 8 to the ground and apply 5 volt to pin 16. Pin 15 is used to manually reset the IC. Now come back to the simulation. And wow through the magic I have created this all circuit. This is the output of triple five timer which is connected to the clock of uh, this counter IC and these are the output wires for 7 segment display. 
after every count cycle from 0 to 9, this pin 5 will generate a clock pulse which will increment count in the second counter IC which is connected to this second display, this one. And how this AND gate is connected? Before getting into this, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and click the bell icon. So take a look at this table which shows the on segments for each digit. To display the digit 0, all the LED segments are on except G. How we will force the counter IC to stop at 59? So there are two units 5 and 9. 9 will automatically reset to 0 and we have to do some extra work to manually reset the 5 to 0. At the same time, E, F and G segments are on only in the number 6. So we will connect AND gate input to these 3 segments. As soon as second counter IC reaches to 6, AND gate output will go high and reset the IC. This is the output of AND gate which will increment the minutes this counter IC and reset the second counter IC. And the same thing I did to reset minutes as it reaches to 60, it's similar to the previous AND gate. Now what we will do to ours, as soon as it reaches 24 we have to reset the both units 2 and 4. So in this case we have to find that combination which does not exist in numbers from 0 to 23. First find the unique segment for 2, the segment G is on for 2 and off for the numbers smaller than 2 that is 0 and 1. Now find segment for number 4. Here the segment F and G are both on at the same time for digit 4. So we have found the combination for 24. Now try to run this simulation. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.